Our project is on optimization and microbial production of LPL from a fungal isolate. We have done our project at Jupiter Biosciences. The main aim of this project is to diagnose a disease called hyperlipoproteinemia or hyperlipidemia. It is the condition of abnormally elevated levels of any lipids or lipoproteins in the blood. Hyperlipidemias are divided in primary and secondary subtypes. Primary hyperlipidemia is usually due to genetic causes such as a mutation in a receptor protein, leading to severe hyperlipidemia associated with lipid deposits in the skin and in the joints. While secondary subtype arises due to the other underlying causes such as diabetes, which is regarded as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. We have commenced this project with the microbial production of fungal strain SV43 to produce LPL enzyme. Lipoprotein lipase activity has been detected in many animal tissues and fluids. Some microorganisms such as mucar species and rhizopus species produce LPL similar to animal tissues and fluids. Now let us see what is LPL. It is a glycerol ester hydrolase enzyme that hydrolyzes lipids in lipoproteins into two free fatty acids and one monoacylglycerol molecule. Lipoprotein lipase is specifically found in endothelial cells lining the capillaries and is also expressed in heart, muscle and adipose tissue. LPL plays a critical role in transporting fats and breaking down fat carrying molecules called lipoproteins. It also removes fatty acids from two types of lipoproteins, very low density lipoprotein and chylomicrons. Now let us begin the procedure. Firstly, we will isolate the culture using tributrine agar plates by spread plate technique. Second step is the subculturing of isolated colonies on potato dextrose agar slants where fungal strains are harvested for 96 hours with 0.1% of twin 80 prepared in distilled water to inoculate seed flask. Sterility and purity of various medias is checked at different stages by preparing nutrient broth and nutrient plates. We use the spore suspension for the preparation of seed stage media. For this, three separate medias are chosen on different levels of carbon and nitrogen sources. These medias are incubated for 24 hours in an orbital shaker. pH of each media is checked separately using a pH digital meter. Similarly, biomass is also checked and weighed using a weighing machine. Media with high pH and biomass are selected for the production media under submerged fermentation. As similar to the seed stage, here we use four different medias of different carbon and nitrogen sources in varied amounts for the production media, which, are, which is again incubated for 96 hours, whose pH and biomass is checked and weighed sub respectively. The media with high pH and biomass is opted for the solvent precipitation. For acetone solvent precipitation, we use chilled acetone which is added to the broth in 1 is to 2 ratio. Here we can see that the enzyme is precipitated at the bottom which is again separated under the vacuum by filtration technique. The resulting enzyme is heated in a hot air oven to obtain dry powdered form of the enzyme. Enzyme activity is done by the analysis of LPL. The principle involved here is nothing but the function of LPL enzyme. We use BSA as a triglyceride which upon reacting with water breaks down into fatty acids. The amount of KOH reacting with the fatty acids is equal to the amount of lipoprotein lipase enzyme released. The assay is based on titration by Amano method where the upper heptane layer is separated into a test tube adding crisol red indicator to it we can see the colors change from yellow to purple which shows its LPL activity. Activity is also calculated from the following formula and from this result we can diagnose the disease followed by enzyme linked assays and histochemistry analysis of the enzyme.